There is no knowledge that is not power. What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I'm back with another 16-bit Super Nintendo review for you today. Over the past three weeks, I've taken a look at Clay Fighters, Mortal Kombat 1, and Mortal Kombat 2. So, in this week's review, I'm going to continue that trend and look at Mortal Kombat 3 for the Super Nintendo. First appeared on arcades, April 15th, 1995. It would later be ported to the Sega Game Gear, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, Game Boy, PC, and MS-DOS. But the Super Nintendo was ported on October 13th, 1995. The story goes, Shao Kahn has survived his defeat at the hands of Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat 2. He devises a plan to invade Earthrealm by making Shang Tsung and his shadow priests revive his fallen queen Sindel in Earthrealm. Upon crossing over into Earthrealm, Shang Shao Kahn consumes all the souls of billions except for a select few fighters, which Raiden was able to save. On top of this, Shao Kahn has sent extermination death squads to hunt and kill the remaining survivors. Mortal Kombat 3 begins, and the realms have begun to fuse. Now, right when you start this game, you're going to notice a whole host of changes. First off, there's a bunch of new characters and no ninjas. Some of the new characters that you'll see, such as in this gameplay right here, Shiva, the Cyborgs, Sektor and Cyrax, Cabal, and a few others. However, there are some returning, such as Sub-Zero, who no longer has his mask and has a scar over his eye, Liu Kang, who later would go on to become the hero of Mortal Kombat 3, his ally, Kung Lao, as well as Jax, who was able to free Sonya after the events of Mortal Kombat 2, so she returns as well. Also new to this game is something called Dial-A-Combo, which means if you input a specific set of button combinations, you can unleash a big damage combo on your opponent. Midway also added a few new features to their fatalities, as well as some returning. The regular fatalities are still here, but they're much more cartoony than previous titles, such as when you unleash certain finishers, your opponent will explode and have like four ribs and 12 thigh bones or something ridiculous. It just gets a little silly. However, they also added a new animality feature where you can perform a mercy on the third round against your opponent to grant them a small amount of life back. And then upon finishing them again, you could turn into an animal and finish them this way. There's also new interactive stages, which allow you to uppercut your opponent to an upper level. So this is kind of a cool little feature that's in the game. One of the nicest features of Mortal Kombat 3 has to be by far the music and the sound effects. Such as, with certain interactive stages, if you uppercut your opponent from one stage into another, the music will actually shift and change. So I thought that was kind of a nice little touch. The sound effects, thankfully, stay very true to the original arcade and add a lot of oomph and really help the atmosphere of the overall game. Now, I mentioned previously about the dialogue combos, but I do want to touch about on the controls. It's still your standard four-button layout with high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, but they also added a run button. This makes this game far more aggressive than its previous titles. One of the complaints that Midway heard during Mortal Kombat 2 was that the game was very much whoever was on the defensive end always had the advantage. So with a run button, it's much more offensively based. Now, thankfully in Mortal Kombat 3, the lag inputs when you input your combos or your specials or whatever you're trying to do, 
is minimal at best, and this makes it very nice. So, the quintessential question that everyone wants to know. Is Mortal Kombat 3 worth adding for your Super Nintendo collection today? Well, you could certainly do worse than this game. If you're looking for a fun, cheap fighter or have a lot of nostalgia for the Mortal Kombat franchise, then yeah, sure, go ahead and pick up Mortal Kombat 3 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. But just go in with low expectations. It's not the greatest fighter in the world, but at the same time, it's not the worst either. There's far worse titles you can go out and get for the Super Nintendo. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.